What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Lakeview Bus Simulator owned by Lakeview Bus Simulator. I guess they changed the name of their group. Um, it looks like this game is still producing updates. Actually, uh, it says here in the title update at, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's what that is. I don't know. Uh, however, I just want to do a video on it before it actually updates so we can get a before and after possibly. I don't know. Uh, this is a pretty cool though. It kind of spawns you in one of their shirts. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Lakeview Bus Simulator. So it's cool to see that this game is actually still being updated. Um, I was under the impression that it wasn't really. I don't know. I shouldn't say that though because I'm, they don't show much interest to this game, uh, which... I need to do more of because I did do quite a few videos on this game and uh, I do love their map. Uh, their map is amazing. So uh, it's still dark time here, apparently 7:20 PM. So we're probably going to be doing a video in the dark for the majority of the video. So um, what do we want to drive though? That's the question. So they have uh, Minotaur E3 RE. Supervision, 2014 C2. Let's drive the ICFE. Why not? And it spawned over here, way over here. My goodness. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I love their parking lot, too. It's so good. I suck at parking lots, so I could never. Yeah, no, I could never. <laughs> Okay, um, so how do we open the doors here? Oh, it's a proximity prompt. Gotcha. Oh, I thought, okay, cool. So, looks like everything's kind of a proximity prompt here. Insert the key. That's a pretty big key. What do we got here? Seatbelt. So it looks like a Gen X bus, but it's got some Huxley features, such as the whole seatbelt thing and the key insert. That's kind of cool. But it's got the, wait, no. This is a Huxley bus. It's got the Huxley gauges as well. Why does the console look so outdated then? Huh. I was wrong. I guess it is a Huxley bus. I don't know. I guess it doesn't look outdated. It's just like clipping into the dash there. So it just looks unprofessional. So we'll go ahead and turn that light on. We rarely use the dome lights, but uh, we're using them today. That's for sure. Okay. Starting to roll off here. It's a diesel and we have enough diesel. Got some green seats. Let's see if we can get a screenshot here. All right, I accidentally turned my scroll lock on. This bus is very slow at taking off at least. Got one stop sign on it. Now I don't know why we'd be picking actually no we're not. we theoretically we wouldn't have any students on, but uh we're gonna go and pick up I guess we could kind of make it to where it's like after like um what would you call it? Um, who the hell is getting dropped off at their house at 8.02 p.m.? I don't know. But let's just say that uh, there was a football game and we have to go pick up the football players and uh, we have to take them home, right? Because they don't have transportation. <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't, but they just don't. They just don't. They don't have any. So where's the football field? We just passed it. Great. Great, great, great. 
how do we get back around? I guess we could just do a loop, I guess. And yeah, this has horrible acceleration. I guess they're just trying to keep it realistic. There's a Dunkin' Donuts there. And I just made a mistake. I went the whole entire... Oh my goodness. I guess this kind of works out. It does theoretically loop. In Dunkin' Donut. That's a weird spot to put one. And the scaling. Oh my goodness. Everybody has a problem with scaling for some reason. I don't know. It's just... Whenever you place down a building or whenever you're starting to build a building, make sure you guys always scale first because scaling is absolutely key uh, when playing Roblox. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, if you're going to have a, and this is a good game, but if you're going to have like a, a, you know, a good game, it's, you know, your builds have to be scaled. And, you know, what I mean by scaled is this bus is theoretically bigger than that Dunkin' Donuts, which wouldn't be realistic or which isn't realistic. I actually used to have a problem with scaling. I'd start a build, finish it, and then I'd realize that it's not the proper size. And when you do try to scale the entire build, it just, it don't work right. It's, it doesn't work properly. So you kind of just have to start scaling, you know, before you start building. So with that first part that you put down, make sure it's the right size. That's going to be our thumbnail right there. Wait, can we take those icons off? We can. Okay, good. So this will be our thumbnail then. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's see, it looks like we got one other person in here. Oh... What? Look at those minutes. Operator key card. Let's say. Lakeview transportation access for operators. I wonder if it serves a purpose. Actually, wait a minute. I did see like a key card entrance that spawned. There was like a door that needed a key. Wait, no, I'm sorry. That was the last game I played. I'm thinking of the last game. I'm sorry, guys. I ain't thinking straight. There was a, a door that needed a key card on the, uh, actually it wasn't even the last video I did. I was supposed to do a video on, uh, Fairbanks, uh, under the, uh, Deer Valley group. Uh, however, I didn't do a video on it, but I remember when I was looking at the spawn building, it had a door that needed a key card. And for some reason I thought that that was in this game. I don't know why. Now, this guy's going to get off right here. My boy, you could have just walked here, okay? Why'd you have to take the bus? Oh, man. I'm playing a lot of uh, Phantom Forces again. Love that game. Voice crack, but I love it. That was a game I used to play all the time when I first joined Roblox. It was Phantom Forces. I remember back in computer class when I first made my Roblox account. Mind you, we were supposed to be typing in computer class, but a lot of times when he would walk away, when the teacher would walk away, we'd switch tabs and we'd be playing Roblox. And uh, I remember Phantom Forces and uh, there was this ninja tycoon that me and my friends always would play. Man, those were the days. That was 2015. Yeah, that's right around when I made my account. 
man, I miss that. I mean, it got so, we used to do that every day because we had computer class every day. That was like the best part of our day was switching tabs to play Roblox. And when he'd walk over, we switched tabs and act like we we're typing again. Uh, so great. It got so bad to where he actually caught us and he actually contacted the principal and they were actually able to put an ad block or put a block on uh, Roblox. Like you couldn't go back on the site anymore on those computers, which sucks. Oh, I remember when that happened. That sucked. We were so disappointed. And then I eventually got my own laptop, my own, and I brought it home and I used to just play off that. And uh, I used to play a lot of Bobbies and stuff. And then I stopped playing for a long, long time and I picked it back up. I got my first PC when I was, I think, actually, I remember I had to get my first PC pre-COVID because I remember they were like, you guys either have to borrow a school computer or you, you can have your own computer. I went out and I bought my own PC with some inheritance money that I had gotten. And I got my first PC. That was um, 2020, I think. Uh, yeah. Right when COVID happened, we were out of school. So I bought me a PC and I was like, wait a minute, I have a Roblox account. Do I remember the password to it? And I did. I remember the password to it and I actually got into it. I'm so glad I remember the password because, you know, that this is my OG account. I don't have another account. I mean, I do. It's an alt account, but that's only in case I get locked out of this one or something. And I went ahead and I put some Robux on that account. A few thousand Robux, no biggie, just to be sure. But I can't imagine losing this account. If I lose this account, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. It's gonna suck. I got my dream items on this account. I got my Valkyries. I got my two Valkyries. Not one, but two. Three hundred and fifty thousand Robux of Valkyries. Probably more than that. No, that's about accurate. I think, because I think the. Valkyrie Helm is going for like 280,000 Robux right now. It varies. It goes up and down. I remember that. I wanted that. That Valkyrie Helm I wanted back in 2015. I was like, there's no way I'm going to ever be able to get that, you know, that avatar item. Eight years later, or or actually seven years later, who would have known? I got it. I actually got it. Two of them. <laughs> like I said, I got the first one, the 50,000 one, the one you can't sell. I, and I thought that was going to be it. I was like, oh my God, I got it. I got it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the Valkyrie Helm. So I saved up for it and I got it. And now I got enough Robux in my account to where I could buy them two times over. It's insane. Anyway, I know I went on a little rant there. I do apologize. I apologize for ranting. I apologize for ranting on my own YouTube channel. Was this based out of Michigan? Yeah, that's right. I remember. I got 76 minutes in this game. It's a little over an hour. We need a little first person action. Great game out there, guys. Great game. Even though you lost. Even though you lost. 24 to 0. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I got a haircut today. That was fun. Oh, look at that. You can open the driver window. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's a CB up there and everything. It's actually the one you would find in the Gen X buses. I think. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's the one you would find in the Gen X 
Let me see a fee, isn't it? I don't know. I remember I found one uh, in a Gen X bus and I used it. I put it in all of the Gen X buses for NBC. I forget what bus I found. I think it was the ICFE. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I thought those cross arms were starting to come down. I was, I was going to be like, what? Senior high school. That's a nice build. I like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to start heading back towards the bus lot, if that's what you want to call it. I need to make some of these for my game. Actually, I'm going to work on that. Why isn't my bus starting? Did you put the key in? It seems legit. I guess that's a great question. What do we got here? What is that? Is that a bank or something? I don't know. Last stop of the night. Dang, I should have got my screenshot with this thing. Oops. Come on. All right. I might have to go back and get my screenshot after I end the video. <laughs> I totally forgot to use that FOV slider. Welcome to Lakeview. What is a house there? What kind of house is that? It didn't look like a mesh house. Maybe it was. Okay, hopefully we can get in right here without dying. Okay, we did good. Anyway, we're going to park up right here at these fuel pumps and we'll wrap up the video. All right, there you have it. Uh, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it'll be linked in the description down below. Again, this was Lakeview Bus Simulator. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.